we're moving to the Philippines for her selfish reasons. Making everybody awkward around me for vlogging. And just studying mommy and Emma and me. Good morning, maganda umaga, and maayong, maayong, no? Maayong bunta. You got me. All right, guys, let's get in the. Oh, what are you doing with your squirrel? <laughs> Hi, guys. We're getting ready to load the kids to into the truck. It's cool day and it's snow day. And they're having a blast. I don't think they want to go to school anymore after um, having played in the snow. Come on, come on, let's go. All right, guys, we just dropped off the kids and now we are at the UPS store. Mike's over there. <laughs> um, so in that box that he is holding are our uh, sensitive documents, important documents like birth certificates. He's going in now. Um, I'm just vlogging. I don't want to vlog inside. Anyway, birth certificates. Um, passports uh, and all the other important stuff. Our printer died in the middle of our printing. Anyway, okay, so I'm gonna go in and um, I'll see you when we're done. Uh, probably just go to Walmart because we get the boxes too. How was the printing? <laughs> Thrilling. Thrilling? The most exciting day of our lives. Coolest thing I've ever been a part of. Hi right, guys, we're done and now we're heading to Walmart to grab some boxes for us to ship to the Philippines. Yeah, so on top of the boxes, we're gonna get some groceries or some stuff that we need, like bread. We don't have bread right now. There's one right there. Buttermilk. If I had the choice, I'll get the whole grain, but the kids don't like it, so. Oh, really? They don't like the, you know, like these, these stuff on oh, it. Oh, goodness. They're yeah. like, so yucky, mommy. Of course they don't. All right, here we go. Oh, Hawaiian. Sweet bread. What else do we need? I just need, well, I, I have like those travel size conditioner and shampoo, so I'm good. We need Ziploc bags. Be embarrassed that I'm vlogging yeah. in here. I don't mind at all. Okay. When we leave here. Yeah, when we leave here. Like the second that we step out the door, it's on. It is on. It's on when it comes to vlogging. In the airport, in the airplane, <laughs> traveling in the Philippines. <laughs> okay. What else do we need? Oh wait, um, Emma's detangler. We need that. That's very important. Okay, Mike. Should we get these paper plates so I can sell all of our kitchen stuff already? I think we should get paper plates now. Because we only have a couple days till we move out of the house. Let's get a small. Where is the cheapest one? Well, we're gonna throw it away anyways. You know, it's such a waste to buy like. Yeah, but I mean, it's got a more than just a dollar. It's gotta hold up a little bit, right? Yeah. And some silverware. And some silverware. Okay, what about the, the the ones that had the least? Has the least? Well, I guess we can wash them off, huh? This is 48 count assorted. Okay. That's probably good. That should be good. You want to get some cups? Cups, cups. I think we have Let's cups see. left. Okay. I have some in the pantry, the, the ones that I use for, um, for our parties. You want to find the uh, entangler or whatever? You yeah, we should. Found it. What else? Boxes? Okay, we got 
Ziploc. We got the detangler for Emmy. We got bread. We got paper plates and and plastic spoon and forks. And I got a little dishwashing liquid. Now we're looking for our boxes. Boxes, where are you? <laughs> It's huge. All right, I got these, and they are a dollar and a dollar ninety-seven cents for each. And we're gonna bring this with us on the plane for the kiddos. And now we're just, get a little spiral. we're just looking for something small enough and light enough for them to bring and color on. Or draw on. Can't find it here. These guys are huge and thick. opted out on their boxes in that store because Mike says that they're very thin and not thick enough for international shipping so we're going to the other Walmart store I don't know, I don't know where else we have boxes so a hardware store is probably a but I, I'm pretty sure the other Walmart has the double, the double corrugated ones. Okay. All right. Well, we're gonna find it. Exactly the same ones that we saw at the other Walmart. They have the extra straight one, but not large. <laughs> Making everybody awkward around me for vlogging. Anyway, so we're just gonna try going to the hardware store. Maybe there's a better one there, stronger one. And I guess we'll see you home. I'm done with vlogging in public. Whoa, 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 hey, hey, hey. All right guys, so we ended up buying the same thing that we saw in the first store. Mike decided to just, um, he decided to just tape it as much as possible, protect it. Tape all over it. <laughs> Tape all over it. <laughs> all over it. <laughs> this is stuff. Oh. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> I got that on tape. <laughs> you sure you're okay? I'm glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> How's your butt? How's your butt? I hit my butt. What happened? Did you... How's your ankle? Oh, did you miss a step? Let me see. The box is heavy. <laughs> Slow down. Let's eat. Are you cooking? I'm hungry. I am cooking. Don't be a freaking caveman. You're all laughing right. at me. <laughs> it was funny. Hey, you would have laughed at me if that happened to me too. Good morning. <laughs> so yesterday was my last day at work at uh, my job as an engineer. And um, I think maybe just because of all the, you know, the stress and the challenges of the job and 
not having a lot of experience in that type of work. There was a point at which I was really like ready to leave, you know? But then as things kind of wound down and I guess I, it like became clear what I was gonna be missing and the people I was gonna be leaving behind, it like got, you know, it got tougher. And it was, um, it was kind of sad actually. To leave the office and leave all the good people there and you know, it's, it's not a bad place. The culture is pretty good and generally people are quite positive. So it is cool though, cause now we have um, one week basically to finish getting rid of everything that's left in the house. And then we're gonna be over at the Airbnb. So we gotta, it's good we have like full days now to prep stuff and sell stuff. And we'll probably have like a big open house garage sale type thing to get rid of all the last stuff. And then the other interesting news is that today is Stephanie and I's uh, seventh, seven? Yeah, seven, right? Seventh anniversary. Um, so that means we're like golden now. Cause that's like, that's the rule. So I've, I've heard it's three years, I've heard it's seven years. I'm gonna go with seven since this is seven for us. But if you survive seven years, you're like good forever. That's the, that's the rule. So we're good forever. Anyway, I wanted to talk about one more thing real quick and uh, Steph can cut this if she wants to cut it. She doesn't have to put it in the vlog, but um, Stephanie's been really stressed about, um, I, I guess maybe there's been some kind of like mean comments or like judgmental comments about how she's moving to the, we're moving to the Philippines for her selfish reasons. And I just want to make it clear that uh, like, yes, for quite a while, like, you know, three or four months, Steph was voicing that she wanted to have a different lifestyle. And I heard that, you know, I value like her opinion. I want her to be happy, but um, ultimately I wasn't ready to do like a big change like that. And then after, you know, maybe two months of me thinking about it personally, like what I want out of life, and you know, so the combination of Steph uh, being happy with her lifestyle and me being happy with my lifestyle, I um, I ended up deciding that it's what I want. So um, yeah, the long and short of that is by no means is it Steph dragging me to the Philippines. Like, yeah, dragging me. <laughs> I. Um, you know, I've worked very hard to get to where I am and to have the sort of residual income that I have, um, which is giving us the opportunity to do this, you know. So if I can, you know, sort of partially retire at the age of 30, that's amazing. And it is in no way, you know, something selfish that Steph is like dragging me to do. I'm really doing it because it's gonna make me happy. I love to travel, I love the yeah. Philippines. Now I think it'll be awesome for the kids, okay. so. To all those people out there who are judging her in that way, I think you're quite wrong, so. Anyway, that's my two cents. Um, I'll see you guys later. No, that's How's your packing going? Looking pretty good. I like that new luggage. Good afternoon. So we um, we're getting down to like the odds and ends. Hi, Steph. She's eyeballing me down there, putting her shoes on. We're getting down to the odds and ends. We got rid of uh, I don't know some random shoes, a space heater. Uh, I don't know some other stuff is just sitting around and now we are We are Getting rid of the love seat which I've taken the feet off of So that it'll fit through the door and then my sister's getting the couch so and the bed it's over there There's not much left now And we have a week and a half before we have to hand the house over so it's crunch time. We got to get stuff out of here. Yeah. It's going to be some dump runs here in a little bit, I think, because we're going to 
run out of buyers for the stuff nobody wants. But anyway, that's it. Bye. Uh, <laughs> I was about to yell and then you put the camera in my face. So Emma's over there and Mommy's over there and we're selling the things and and that is right there. Yeah. <laughs> 